Don't you hate it when recruiters give you nothing? They make promises like crazy, they give you nothing. And maybe worse, when they bring you guys who are working the, the counter at McDonald's for executive positions. It could be worse, but I'm not sure how. There's four things you can do to help get the recruiters to bring you the people you need. First one, give them quick feedback. Every recruiter you talk to will say, I would like feedback within 24 hours. If you can give them feedback within an hour, within two hours, or absolutely within 24 hours, they will know what their mistakes are when they sent you the first resume, when they sent you the third resume, when they sent you the fifth resume, and they won't make that mistake anymore. It will also give them a chance to talk to you and argue with you about what's, what they can actually find in the search. Okay, so number two that you can do. First, give them good feedback. Number two, stay on their tail. If they're not reporting to you on a weekly basis or giving you a new resume so they can talk to you, at least on a weekly basis, there's a good chance they're not working on your job. Okay? Recruiters have multiple jobs at the same time. Every recruiter does, or they're dying of starvation and their family's going to be out on the street. That's just the facts of being a recruiter. So if you don't hear from them on at least a weekly basis, you need to call them and say, how's my job being received? How are people reacting to it? Why don't I have any candidates? How many people are in the pipeline? When am I going to get somebody else? And you know what? If they don't see anything that you like, you can fire them. Tell them, look, you get me somebody in three days or just stop the search. I'll find a recruiter who will work on my job. Number four, um, if there are five recruiters working on a job, that means that, there, that the recruiter has a one in six or less chance of making the fill. And the reason that is is because your internal recruiter is also working on it. So if there are five people working on it, there's a sixth one, which is your internal recruiter. He only has a one in six chance of making the fill. And if he doesn't make the if he doesn't do it, he gets nothing. So if you tell a recruiter, I'm gonna give this to you exclusively, only you and my internal recruiter have this, he's gonna work a lot harder for you. Oh, guaranteed because he knows he has a 50-50 chance of filling it. Um, a third way to do it, which increases the chance of the recruiter filling it to 94%, it increases the chances that the recruiter will give you the person you need up to 94%. And that's on a nationwide basis, uh, checking with uh, recruiters in all kinds of different areas. That is, you give them a deposit or a retainer whichever you want to call it. So if you give me a $5,000 deposit on a $25,000 fee, then my chances of making the rest of the fee go up to 94%. How hard am I going to work for you? I'm going to put everything else to the side. I'm not going to worry about anything else. You have given me a blessing that, that is uh, amazing, and I'm going to work my little heart out trying to get the rest of that fee. You gave me 5000 I want the other 20000 And the nice thing is, if your internal recruiter fills it, or if you guys cancel the opening, and you wouldn't believe how often that happens to recruiters, um, if you cancel the opening, I've still got the $5,000 to pay for part of the work I did. Remember, I'm expecting $25,000. I got 5000 of it in advance. I'm missing out on $20,000, but I'm feeling a heck of a lot better because I knew that you really wanted me to search for it. Well, there, those are four ways <clears throat> to get your recruiter to find more people for you and to find the best people for you. First, give them quick feedback. Absolute most important thing you can do. Second, stay on their tail. They've got more than one job. You need to ask them questions about what they're doing and what they're not doing, at least on a weekly basis. Third, consider giving them an exclusive and not letting any other recruiters on it, because when you do that, they have a better job, a better chance of making the placement, and they'll work harder. And if you're giving them immediate feedback and staying on their tail, you'll know if you need to say, look, I can't keep you on this on an exclusive basis. I, I need to give it to someone else on an exclusive basis, basis if you don't give me somebody in three days. Okay. Fourth, give them a deposit. Make it a retained search. They'll know that you're serious. They'll know for sure that you're not giving it to other recruiters. And um, make the deposit. Uh, make make it so that they have to return the deposit if they don't get you three good candidates.
It's easy. I'm Brian Diltz, AGI, Diltz & Associates. Hope you have a great day and good luck with your recruiters.